parliament has convened once again. Last month, Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam and Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan fielded questions about their leasing of black and white bungalows along Redoubt Road. The saga continued today. This time, Prime Minister Lee Shin Long gave a ministerial statement to address concerns over the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau's CPIB investigation into Transport Minister S. Iswaran and the resignation of members of Parliament MPs Tan Chuan Jin and Cheng Li Hui. This is the first parliamentary sitting since news broke of the CPIB investigation and the affair between the two former PAP MPs. However, there was little that was said in the statement that Singaporeans didn't already know. Except maybe, for when exactly PM Lee found out about the affair November 2020, if you must know. If the statement failed to address public concerns, the clarifications that followed raised more questions than answers. The discussion was derailed by skeletons in Singapore's political closet Kong and Trace Together Tangents were once again given their time of day in Parliament. The debate spiralled further into disorder when MPs debated over the use of the word rape. Minister Balakrishnan also recalled how difficult it was for him during the Trace Together saga. However, that recollection was beside the point. The clarification freight so far from its original cause that newly minted Speaker of Parliament Seau Kian Peng had to remind MPs to keep to the original thread of the debate. Questions of public concern remain unaddressed or poorly answered, even when Singaporeans had hoped for some semblance of clarity. 1. Tan Chuan Jin's resignation timeline. The question, could the Prime Minister detail for us what exact steps were taken between February and July 2023 to arrange for the care of Marine Parade residents. If that was the crux of the issue, then even if the planning for the care of Marine Parade residents was a proper justification for Tan Chuan Jin to remain a Marine Parade MP for five months, why was he not asked to step down as Speaker first and a new Speaker elected? Leader of the Opposition Preetam Singh the non-response, Marine Parade, was a consideration. But all things considered, I should have moved earlier. But the important thing is, we move and we brought it out and we are open about it. PM Lee. Why the question is important, Mr. Tang offered his resignation in February this year, and PM Lee accepted. He told Mr. Tang to ensure his constituents in Marine Parade GSC were taken care of before leaving. PM Lee said at a media conference on July 17. However, it was only on that same day, after some five months had elapsed, that Mr. Tang officially resigned. Even as the PAP tries to spin its decision to go public with Mr. Tang's and Ms. Chang's affair as one that shows its commitment to transparency. It hasn't offered a satisfactory explanation to Mr. Singh's questions. Instead, what we got from PM Lee was as good as a deflection. We still don't know if any steps were taken between February and July to pave the way for Mr. Tan's resignation. We also don't have an explanation for why Mr. Tan was allowed to remain in his Speaker of Parliament role when that had no bearing on his constituents. PM Lee says the important thing is that the party took action. We think the sheer amount of time they actually took to move, however, is equally important. So, is the apparent lack of action after Mr. Tan's offer to resign. The PAP has long prided itself on being whiter than white and being able to own self check own self. If there was a lapse of judgment on PM Lee's part, the people of Singapore deserve a more detailed explanation beyond a should have moved earlier. On self check on self, eventually, just doesn't have the same ring, we suppose. 2. The Select House Committee The question, why were Speaker Tang and Cheng Li Hui allowed to be on the same standing select committee, namely the House Committee? 
After G20 when the Prime Minister was already aware of the affair? Mr. Singh. The non-response, with respect to the House Committee, there are several standing select committees. The names for the composition of the committees are put forward, in the case of the PAP representation, by myself. After the last general election, I had sought leader of the opposition's nominations for the opposition MPs. Because the rules provide that for standing select committees, the proportion of the ratio of majority MPs and opposition MPs should be roughly than the proportion that they are represented in this house. Leader of the House Indrani Roger. Why the question is important, PM Lee clarified that he was aware of the affair in November 2020. He counseled the members involved and assumed that the affair would stop. Conversely, it was the leader of the House that recommended MPs Tan, Chuan Jin and Cheng Li Hui Yi to the House Committee. The response only raised more questions. Singaporeans can only speculate who was made privy to the affair between the former party members. Of course, talking about proportional representation does little to answer the question about a potential conflict of interest. Especially when there are other members the PAP could have recommended to the House Committee. 3. Sensitivity Issues The non-response, as for Risa Khan, that raises many issues, and those issues are now have been exhaustively debated in the Committee of Privileges. Further problems were recorded and reported by the Committee of Privileges and the matter has been referred to the police for investigations. So I would leave that to the police to pursue the matter and take it where it may. PM Lee Why the question is important, it isn't really about Risa Khan, her SC. It's about why PM Lee saw fit to chastise the Workers' Party for having no contrition over Risa's case in a parliament sitting while keeping mum about Tan's and Cheng's inappropriate relationship. Sure, the police are on the case. Tell us something we don't know. It's clear that the circumstances of the two cases couldn't be more different. One involves a sexual assault survivor victim lying in parliament and the other is an extramarital affair between the Speaker of Parliament and an MP. In both cases, however, the leaders of both parties have defended their lack of action by claiming they're being sensitive to the Aaron MP's family members. When does an MP that's made a misstep deserve time and space? And are all MPs held to the same standard, regardless of political affiliation? This discussion, however, was further derailed when Minister of Law K. Shanmugam turned it into a question of whether Mr. Singh was being sensitive when he used the word rape instead of sexual assault during the Committee of Privileges Proceedings. 4. Surveillance on MPs the question, whether anyone applied for a permit to conduct surveillance on the two WP politicians under the Private Security Industry Act. And if not, will the police conduct any investigations to determine if any laws were broken? Mr. Leong Man Wai. The non-response, I suppose the question, I think, is directed indirectly to me. So. Can I ask through you which provision of the Private Security Industry Act is Mr. Leong referring to? I just want to understand the provision. So that we can be clear. Last Saturday, PSP came to my constituency. As is usual, they sat in a corner and had their coffee. My people were there. Then, I did my usual walkabout and PSP sent someone to video me. And I have a photograph of that. If Mr. Leong wishes. So certainly your party doesn't think that there is anything wrong in constantly videoing us. Mr. Shanmugam. The question, when former WP MP Risa Khan revealed to the WP leaders that she was a rape victim. Sensitivity was not even considered by the Committee of Privileges in accounting for the delay in addressing research lies to Parliament. 
and the Prime Minister did not bat an eyelid in giving the Leader of the Opposition a sermon on Confucian ethics, morality and shame. Even though at a material time, he would have been aware of the affair between Speaker Tan Chuan Jin and MP Cheng Li Hui. Mr. Singh. Why the question is important, maybe Mr. Leung's question could have been better phrased. Under the act he mentioned, private investigation work into political figures does require special approval from the Singapore Police Force. This, however, only applies to the President, the Prime Minister, a Minister or a Minister of State. He also didn't specify which two WP MPs he was referring to, but we can hazard a guess that he's alluding to Leon Pereira and Nicole Seau, and the video of them having dinner. In the video, Mr. Pereira is seen caressing Miss Seau's hand. Obfuscated by both Mr. Leong and Mr. Shanmugam was the real question on Singaporeans' minds. Was it more than a coincidence that the news of the affair between MPs Leon Pereira and Nicole Seo broke soon after revelations of the affair between MPs Tan, Chuan Jin and Cheng Li Hui? While we still know nothing of the video's origin, addressing it head-on in Parliament would have assuaged the speculation around the uncanny coincidence of the videos of the WP MPs. Instead, all we got was another frustrating exchange between Mr. Leong and Mr. Shanmugam. Deja vu, anyone?